Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all is going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jack Knight. I can sing off here in Fallout 76. We're here in the beta, finally, on PC. Uh, so we're kind of in our comfort zone now. Everything previous to this was on Xbox. So this is a big difference. Everything's looking a lot better. I saw a lot of people complaining about the look of the game, the frames, all that kind of stuff. And I think that was honestly, it was the early on part of the beta. And also, you know, it's on console and most people are playing on a normal Xbox and stuff. So it definitely does not compare to the PC version. Once I stepped out and was actually taking a look at like the world, how everything worked, um, it really reassured me as to how this game is going to look and feel because uh, there aren't the FPS drops when you're firing a gun like there were on uh, console and things like that. I hope those are fixed, um, but the PC version is running great. So what we needed to do to kind of catch up to where we were in the last video was go around gathering um, as much wood and this stuff as possible. I obviously wanted to get started on PC and not continue on console, um, so I had to start out from the beginning. Um, you will carry over your progress from the beta to the normal progression of the game so that's nice um, and now everything kind of from here on out is going to be cumulative so um, I've got a decent amount of supplies and stuff I went to the Gilman lumber mill right at the beginning um, it's kind of off to the side of the vault exit so you can actually get here pretty quickly and it's the place where I found the most amount of wood to start out a base so you want to start out obviously in the wood tier because I, I started to build into the concrete and it takes a lot uh, not really sure where to find mass quantities of that yet so you definitely want to check out the lumber mill uh, when I was here I actually found a car or, or a bus that had destructible like a health bar I don't know why it made no sense to me you couldn't drive it or do anything with it um, so obviously I thought maybe if we destroyed it we'd get some scrap something like that that wasn't the case so once I did destroy it, <laughs> I didn't get anything out of it. So I don't really know what the point of it is. Maybe at some point you can use them or drive them, or maybe they're just destructible scenery. Um, but I kind of thought it was weird that it had a health bar. Things even flew out of it, and you weren't able to gather them for steel or anything, which I thought was going to be what it was there for. But you didn't get anything out of it. Kind of like a weird thing that I just didn't see here last time I was at the lumber mill, because I was around here a bit in the last beta, and I definitely didn't see any of these. And not all of them have health bars either, so that's why I thought it was weird. Anyway, we wanted to find a good place to camp, so I set out to find one near a river. Then, as I was out and about looking for a nice flat spot to set up a base, I found this lookout as well. So I thought it was just like another little place with some ghouls and things like that. Obviously focusing on just melee at the moment because stocking up on bullets uh, at the beginning is definitely useful. But when I got to the top of this lookout, I actually activated kind of like the barrier and it gave me so many locations probably about 13 I think is what it came out to locations on the map to be able to search so it gives you all of kind of like the smaller places and things in between the larger monuments which you wouldn't normally have on the map which is really nice so finding these watchtowers or this one specifically definitely reveals the area like other games where you get up to I think like Assassin's Creed um, is what I remember that being from like you get up to the top of this tower and kind of see everything in the surrounding area so similar to that you get all these unlocked also make sure you hit up these little nodes that are along the ground. You kind of see them in little cracks and stuff and you can get ores from them. You take those to chemistry stations and kind of, I think you use acid with them to break them into building materials. I'm not sure if you can use the raw ores for anything, but I definitely saw that at the crafting station as well. Okay, so I think I finally found a good spot to set up the camp. There's actually a cooking station here, so I'm going to see if that affects whether or not you can place a build here. This is like a really good spot along the river, so that's the plan. It looks like it's not affected. You can actually put the, cr the cooking station inside of your build. So you place that down. Let's get this started. Alright, so I actually got a decent amount of area here on the flat foundations. Make sure it's in a flat spot because you cannot lower foundations very easily. Also, you can't remove trees that might be in your way. You will have difficulty building around them. It is a little bit more difficult of a building system than most survival games, but it seems like it's kind of made to be a lot more in depth as well. With customization at least. Alright, this basic ladder here seems to be fine to make a second floor. Now other people can come in and I believe take from your stash. 
or at least get into your base. You want to make sure that you have multiple rooms and an airlock, obviously, not just one door leading to the inside. Alright, I can't stress enough how much wood you're actually going to need for this. If I wouldn't have went and gathered a ton from the lumber mill and other places, I wouldn't have had enough. I actually had to go get more, um, but it's looking good, actually. Even with the wood, it kind of kind of fits in with the scenery. It's pretty nice. I want to see kind of what the concrete and other things are. I did unlock this upgraded... Oh, still getting used to scrolling through these menus. My apologies. Um, but I did get this upgraded door here. Now the variants must just be other ones that you can get, I'm not really sure, but this is like a diner door. I found the blueprint in just a random crate somewhere, so you find these as you go and you can upgrade your building accordingly and uh, kind of depending on what plans you have, kind of determine what kind of a building you have. Uh, the concrete stuff's really expensive, that's what you uh, actually get. I think as the second tier of floors and then actually the second tier of walls is going to be the metal walls so um, that's kind of how that system works. Uh, I want to get a ladder going up to the second floor and these ones seem to work really well for that so I'm going to place this going up the side. Also um, one thing that you're definitely going to want to take into account is that you need to put the locks on your doors so make sure you put the locks on your doors and other people can't walk in there have been other people walking past me here so make sure you do that and um another thing people were mentioning i complained about not being able to open the doors in build mode now maybe you can open the doors in build mode i don't know i can't find the button but what i can tell you is that the people saying that it's like fallout 4 where you could just pick up the door go through it and then press cancel it's not true if you pick up the door it's still physically there i think that's because it's a multiplayer game and if you were to pick up the door in build mode somebody could just run through your door it wouldn't make much sense so um yeah if you pick it up and you're editing you, can, you just can't go through it i've tried it trust me it doesn't work um you cannot stack the ladders or sorry stairs up here as well i was hoping you could put another scaffolding basically up top so gotta be a little bit more creative with how we work getting onto the roof of this so pretty much once i'd placed everything down just got my stash box down i saw some people or heard some people coming up and they thought my base was just like an npc base this is probably 30 minutes into the beta no joke i opened the door for him just because i didn't have anything in this stash or anything yet I legit thought this was part of the fucking world. Nice spot, mate. You know, there's a uh, plans for a metal bed by the uh, first overseer. And I couldn't figure out which button was push to talk, so unfortunately I couldn't say anything to him. I was just kind of jumping around trying to be friendly or whatever. Um, one thing to note, <laughs> the turrets don't actually fire at anybody. They're in there, but they might need to be hostile or aggressive or something um, to actually get those turrets to get going. So I don't really know why. Um, that doesn't go automatically or if there'll be a setting or anything, but they might need to be aggressive All right, so after I realized if I let people in they're probably gonna go through my stash down in the bottom I figured I'd throw it into a little bit of an airlock up here its own separate room and put it in here Obviously you want to put all of your stuff like scrap junk all of that into your stash because if you die out there to anybody You're gonna give them all of your building supplies and things like that so you definitely want to stock up and put them here i actually ran out of wood at this point so all the wood i gathered for probably a decent amount of time probably about half an hour or so i went around just focusing on gathering wood uh went to this size of a base so uh, that's kind of how big and how much it's going to cost to like go through it. It seems like stuff for turrets and things like that, you can get pretty easily just by scrapping things. Alright, I wanted to get up to the roof. Obviously, it's a very important place to be if you've played Rust or other survival games. You need to be able to get on your roof, defend your base, and things like that. So, um, I wanted to get up here. I worked out a way to get the staircase up. It seems you cannot place ceilings anywhere where there is not a foundation below them so you can't do it unless there's a foundation below i hope there's some kind of structural pillar or something that they can put in but that's why i wasn't able to place these on our last build either so i'm not able to actually put a foundation on that spot because the tree's there so definitely make sure you figure out where you're going to place your base before um or, or what size base you want to have before you place it down. So I was able to place these along the backside, and because I need to have everything face the same way, 
it seemed like the only way to get them to face the correct way was to actually hold down the left mouse button which actually rotates it and then it'll rotate it to the correct way not sure if there's a quick easy rotate button but that would be nice all right so we got the base all set we're back to kind of where we were in the xbox beta probably a little bit bigger um, than before ran out of wood now at this point so i have to go out and start gathering things and i think that's really the driving force in these games at least for me um, what i like to do is build a really big structure and base and kind of that gives you the goal you know once you run out of wood you got to go get more wood once you run out of this or that um, it just kind of gives you something to go and search for uh, in the world if you can't figure out what you're doing so this base turned out pretty good i'm still working on it obviously this one's gonna get um really in depth uh, i actually turned out that there's a spawn for um the scorch nearby too so i get those coming through every once in a while and hopefully we can get some defenses going on in this so i really like how the base building and stuff works um some of the trees bug out and you can't gather them i don't know why maybe it's ones that i've already got within the area or something like that but anyway i'm gonna keep it short and simple uh just on the building at this point uh next video i'll do the events I actually got into some of the events and completed um a few of them alone as well so got a good idea of how they're gonna work and kind of um, what you're gonna expect from those as well, which they were they were fun. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a lot of fun with this game, and uh, I was looking forward to it too. So it's kind of living up to my own hype. Um, I'm really not seeing too many issues with the PC version like I was on Xbox. But anyway, that's where we're gonna stop for today. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up for me, and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great day, and of course, we'll catch you next time.